Live from Fayetteville, this is your Razorback Nation Report, powered by your Central Arkansas Honda dealers. Settle down, folks. Do not expect the Arkansas-Texas game to be moved to Razorback Stadium this Saturday. The new paint at midfield, that's just to keep the outline of the hog fresh. Yeah, there have been a lot of rumors about what Hurricane Ike's effect on Saturday's game might be. From what we're hearing and after talking to our Austin affiliate, we expect an announcement Thursday at noon. But as of right now this second, the game is still on as scheduled, so the Hogs have to work to be ready. How about we talk a little defense on this Wednesday. Coordinator Willie Robinson will get some much needed help for his linebackers this week. Defensive captain, linebacker Elston Forte, number 38, and junior linebacker Wendell Davis, number 47, are both ready after rehabbing their knee injuries. Back from suspension is Freddie Burton, number 46. He missed the first two games. Another linebacker, number 41, Ryan Powers, he just got back last game but played sparingly. So a lot of experience and leadership is finally coming back. Now they won't be in perfect game shape, but all hands need to be on deck against Texas. And that includes the offensive line. They have to pro provide protection for quarterback Casey Dick, who has been sacked eight times already this season. It's not always the offensive line's fault, but if you think the pass rush was tough the first two games, Texas will take it to another level. Yeah, well, that's all of us. You know, that's a big thing when we say we got to defeat the blitz. That's all 11 guys. The quarterback's got to get us in the right protections. The linemen got to execute their job. That's an 11 man job when it comes down to, to beating pressure. It's going to be a challenge for us. We just got to come out and, you know, come out and be physical and just do all the things that we know that we could do to, you know, block them and go down there to get the win. The Hogs went down there and got a win in 2003. In fact, Arkansas has won two of the last three against the Longhorns. But Texas has looked better so far this season. That's no secret. Dominating their first two games. However, they are giving Arkansas the respect and the attention of a true challenger. Big game with Arkansas. It's fun. Uh, another really good test for us defensively because we've uh, got another uh, pro passing attack. Back in the Southwest Conference days, the big rivalries, I'm sure it's going to be a huge game. Uh, they'll be fired up, we'll be fired up, and you know, we're, we're glad it's at home and we're glad to play in front of our home crowd again. So it's just amazing that we excite people. We, we get them going. In fact, Spike Dykes used to tell me, you got a sick team, play Texas, you'll get well. Arkansas has played to the competition so far this season. Maybe it'll happen again Saturday if there is a game. Right now it's slated for 2.30 from Austin, of course. Finally, not even a hurricane can stop recruiting. It is year-round, and Arkansas just got their 14th commitment for the 2009 class, Jerry Mitchell of Louisiana. Mitchell is another one of those speedy cover corners, but he's got size, too. Six foot two, 198 pounds. That's big for a cornerback. He was also being recruited by Florida State, North Carolina State, and others. You know, Petrino might have to borrow Mike's goggles, you know, if they go down there and play in the hurricane, Bob. You know, I don't know. I'll have to check with Mike and see if he'll give him up. <laughs> he says he won't because apparently the, oh, okay. well, the, the coach from we'll Oklahoma needs it. We'll have more tonight at 10 then. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Aaron. Corn